لاي حد بيجي لاول مره احنا عاملين مجموعه كبيره من الورش الهدف منها ان احنا نقدر نحط ايدنا على الاجنده البحثيه اللي الدوله محتاجاها لو هي عايزه فعلا جاده فعلا to work on the digitization of the economy in order to know where we're wrong or where we're right in collaboration with the Ministry of Planning, uh, Telecom. They are our partners in this respect. Um, uh, these workshops address uh, the horizontal uh, framework. We started uh, with an intro workshop um, discussing the um, uh, the best practices, and then uh, we have discussed uh, non-sectoral aspects, and then uh, the KPIs, the most relevant KPIs um, uh, of to which this uh, workshop belongs. Um, and then we are going to investigate the other uh, aspects. Um, for anyone uh, who is here for the first time, uh, we have a strategic ap approach uh, which is achieving sustainable development, which can only happen uh, through economic efficiency and social justice. Um, uh, this uh, green box or green square is our uh, target. Any research, any consultation, any brainstorming that shall help in this uh, respect uh, will uh, be our focus. Uh, we are starting right away and I would like to uh, introduce uh, the, in the title of this, um, of this uh, workshop, uh, Trading Across uh, Borders, because um, this is, this is uh, one of the most relevant KPIs um, which we rank really poorly. There are different uh, KPIs um, uh, that we rank poorly at, um, uh, and this is our uh, focus. In this uh, workshop, we have Dr. Ahmad Abdul Wahed, uh, the head of the Customs uh, Clearance uh, Department. Uh, he is uh, one of the uh, of the uh, of the insiders. Um, uh, he has been a customs expert for. 35 uh, years um, and has um, held uh, this position uh, for three decades. Um, uh, anyone who has a, um, a problem uh, regarding the customs can report to him. And Dr. Khaled Derbela, he is one of our key partners in this series of workshops on the economic digitization. Uh, he held different positions um, uh, in uh, top organizations um, and he has been working with the Egyptian government um, uh, and he has always been working on uh, making, mapping the slums uh, in Egypt uh, and he is one of the top experts in this um, field, I would like to ask you to talk about um, what happens while we discuss trading across borders. I'm just going to give you a very brief introduction about um, the trade barriers and trading across borders. As uh, you are well aware, uh, that uh, time is um, the best um, measurement. Um, uh, when we talk about um, uh, trading across borders, over the past five years, um, Egypt trained poorly uh, and has been lagging behind. Out of 190 countries, uh, we ranked uh, 180, 175. Um, so we started to um, to think how to how we can uh, move Egypt upwards. This list. So we have embarked uh, on laying the ground rules. Logistics is uh, one of the cornerstones of this um, uh, of this uh, field, uh, but um, we found that the different ports are working um, in silos. Uh, Alexandria Port uh, is working differently from the one that uh, that um, uh, the, the one the one in Damietta. 
uh, even for the procedures, we've been working to mainstream them. The everyone heading these ports is working in isolation. Our main focus was to help develop Egypt uh, further and um, people started to work on the one-stop shop but we ran into many hiccups. Uh, is it possible to have one container in the port and we wanted to get the measurement uh, of, um, uh, of the cargo while there is no balance or no scale that exists that can actually contain this cargo. How come? So I have to weigh the whole vehicle in order to get the measurement of the cargo. The detection equipment should cover all of the incoming items. Um, so, in order to be more flexible, uh, we wanted to tie this detection equipment with the customs officers um, uh, in order to have it only in one go in order to have uh, a electronic payment method. Uh, they started the other way around. Uh, they started with the checks and then they completely disregarded uh, mainstreaming the procedures. Um, so in this workshop we want to say that Edith um, is positioned to be at the top of trading across borders. Um, President Abdel Fattah Sisi received information that Egypt is re advanced, but the customs barriers actually completely counter all of this information. Um, there are policies that are being set uh, but uh, you find that the young that uh, the very ju junior officers are the ones uh, who are uh, putting these barriers setting them up a, the a customs officers arrive at 10 and they leave at 1. Is it possible to have a governmental agency working on the for, um, uh, for 4 hours? Uh, secondly, there is no sufficient training that is uh, given to the officials. Uh, in the past, uh, we usually had um, officers trained on inspecting chemicals, uh, but now you have people who have majored in humanities uh, working on detecting chemicals. Uh, we also have computer breakdown. You found that the system is usually broken down. W one month ago, I uh, was approached by an investor who has 10 containers a day, and each one is fined $200. Um, $200 um, and the system was down uh, for three days. Um, and uh, if you do the math, um, the, the, the math, the man was asking me who should be responsible. Uh, the system was down. Uh, who's going to, uh, to have my back? Um, that's why we were saying if the customs authority could be responsible for the taxes, 
while acknowledging the administrative uh, problems that would be an incentive i mean this is these are problems that are beyond my control uh, but we can shoulder the responsibility with the um, with the importer um more often than not uh, we have the have problems with the containers and in in the port the port of Damietta is completely working uh, differently from the port of uh, Alexandria and if everyone is working according to different prices and we wanted to uh, to unify the the fees so we have the trucks that uh, are being weighed um, every every day you can have a fixed toll for every vehicle without having to go through the weighing process every single time. Having a fixed toll would make it easier for the vehicles and the vehicle drivers. Um, because all of these are added costs. We wanted to achieve uh, this uh, digitization uh, with, uh, for, with, with um, a very advanced uh, way of thinking, and I'd like to thank you all.